What if I told you this is the simplest type of reel you can create in Adobe After Effects? In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the process. The full project file is available on Patreon. Without any further ado, let's start. Alright, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we want to recreate this project. You can download the project files on my Patreon. On the first step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Rework because we are going to rework this animation. Now, let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it Main. The width is set on 1080, the height is set on 9020, the frame rate is set on 24 frames per second, and 50 seconds should be fine. And let's hit OK. Now, we want to recreate the first scene. So I'm going to go towards the asset panel and I'm going to bring the assets related to first scene. As you see, we have an animated rocket in here. Sometimes I use the pre-made After Effects template in order to speed up my workflow. You can use sites such as Icon Scout to download these type of animations. Also, we have a foreground that is consists of characters. And now we want to animate it. Press P to reveal the position and I'm going to set a keyframe for the position. 20 frames forward, I'm going to set another one. And now let's get back to the first one and I'm going to drag it down like this. Let's make sure that we only select the first keyframe. All right, now I'm going to set the easings on F9. I'm going to open the graph editor in here and let's fit the graph and we're gonna get the give it a 65% influence and we will have an animation like this. Great, now it is time to reveal the rocket. So to do that, we are going to press T to reveal the opacity. We're gonna set the opacity on zero. A few frames forward, we're gonna set it on thread. We are going to use the rotation to rotate the rocket. Great, now it is time to add the camera. So we're gonna select new camera the type is set on one node let's hit ok now in order to control the camera better we are going to create a node and in new we're going to create a node but let's set the camera on 3d great i'm going to set these two layers on 3d and with the node selected we're going to reveal the position we're going to set a keyframe on position and as soon as we see the rocket let's just offset the layers a bit we're going to create a zoom in effect so I'm going to drag the Z and we are going to set it like this. As you see, the rocket is out of position. In order to fix that, we're going to press P to reveal the position of the rocket. And we're going to push it a bit further like this. And we can readjust it like so. Now it is a matter of offsetting the camera. We're going to set the easings on F9. We're gonna go towards the graph editor by pressing shift plus F3 and then we're gonna give it an influence like this. The rocket will end in here. We can duplicate it and we can set it on here. However, we need to remove the opacity keyframes. Now with everything finished, we're gonna just select everything. I'm gonna press control plus shift plus C and we're gonna call it scene 001. Now it's time to go towards the second scene. So I'm going to bring the asset in here and now we can adjust this layer. But first, let's just hide the scene one. And now I'm gonna rescale it and I'm going to place them like this. You can use the Fastback Blur for the layers that they are close to the screen to make it more realistic. And on the next step, what we are going to do is that we're just gonna turn these layers into 3D and we're gonna give them a bit movement. So to do that, we are going to select the layers. I'm going to press R to reveal the rotation and I'm gonna set a keyframe on orientation and a few frames forward I'm just going to shift the handles to create a movement like this and I'm going to do the same step for each of these layers now we have this movement it is time to add the text you can choose any font that you like with any size but to animate the text we are going to use one of the after effects presets so let's just go towards the window and we're gonna select the effects and preset tab on the effects and preset type slide and pop in and in animate in we're gonna drag it towards the text so this will be our animation and this will be our second scene. Like this first scene, we are going to pre-compose it and we are going to call it scene 002. Now it is time to create a transition between these two scenes. We are going to select these two layers and I'm going to set a keyframe on position each of these layers. 
20 frames forward i'm going to shift this one towards the left and i'm going to shift this one towards the right but as you see the movements right now on the second one is opposite of what we want so i'm going to select the keyframes right click on it in keyframe assistant select time reverse keyframes and now i'm going to push the first keyframe in here so we will have a super simple slide in animation now it is time to work on the graph i'm going to give it an influence for 65 percent the same i'm going to do for the second set of keyframes and now it is time to adjust the cut to make the animation better so when it's in here i'm going to cut the first scene and i'm going to drag this one until here and i'm going to cut it like this so now we will have an animation like this which is exactly what we want. Moving forward, as you see, every scene uses the same principle throughout the end of animation. Now it is time to show you how we can make this type of background. So the first layer of the background is consists of the gradient ramp. And then on the second layer, we have the optical flares, which basically allows you to create light flares for your animation. And if you do not have this plugin, you can search for light flares and apply it to your footage. So basically this is just a light flare that is happening on top of this animation. At the end, we have the looks and the effect. As you see, we have this animation, which is quite similar to what we have created in the original reel. Here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for my future videos.